So Ellis, you know, one of the one of the things that we have also been talking about is that, you know, and again, really highlighted by the by the pandemic uh, is the is the fact that um, the distribution channels are not uh, adequately sized, right? So, uh, you know, we when we look at the small business market or when we look at any of these markets, right, with regards to healthcare, with regards to affordable housing, the distribution channel that it was represented by the CDFI industry uh, is really not adequate to meet the need. Uh, and so both through, you know, capital innovation, uh, but also through federal policy uh, and how those systems are, are, are designed, uh, we, it, this alliance, we are hoping to really disrupt some of those systems. And by disrupting those systems, open up distribution channels in a way that really have not been done heretofore. Absolutely. So uh, as we think about distribution channels, I can't, uh, and, and how we can help facilitate through the alliance, the, the flow of capital to communities, I have to start uh, or reflect back to the, the values-based work that both CDC Small Business Finance and Capital Impact does, because really it is at the core of why this is such an exciting proposition, because CDC Small Business Finance and Capital Impact see the world the same way, in which we want to make sure that equity and justice are really at the center of all of our work, inclusive of how we work with others. And so that means that we want to create a distribution channel that is fair and equitable and has just economics built into it so that all organizations throughout the value, throughout the value stream can, can derive value that can support their long-term sustainability. And what that ultimately is going to be, enable us to do is to take shared and appropriate risk across the country and in investing in new concepts and strategies that we can then utilize to scale broadly across the country with other mission-based organizations. And, and supporting Kurt's earlier point around using that information and data to influence public policy at scale. And so that is something that we're really excited about, that opportunity, again, having a distribution mechanism that has everyone included uh, in the conversation and, and adding, whether it's business supports and business advising, to uh, capital investment, both uh, debt and equity, and then also investable opportunities for institutional investment. And so we are extremely excited about this opportunity and think that uh, it is truly disruptive in a good way to our current environment. So I love, uh, you know, I love uh, the, the value, the values, you know, aspect of uh, the work that we uh, are going to do uh, together. And, I, and, and this is something that resonates uh, deeply with me. And that, and that is this, this value proposition where we don't leave our values at home and when we go about doing this work, but that our values are, 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 are first and foremost up front in terms of how we do this business and how we achieve this, this scale, I think is so, is, is actually a part of the innovation. Right, it's actually a part of the of the innovation, and that to me that touches my heart and really excites me. Uh, you know, at at the same time. 